Okay, so now we will talk a little bit about basketball. So Duke basketball is now 6-1 and one following a dominant start to the season, but that one loss coming from Gonzaga is really getting Duke fans riled up. Should Duke fans be disappointed with a 6-1 and one season? I don't think Duke fans should be like should be disappointed with the six and one record. Here's why: I think that the start of the season was very dominant. We see a lot of we, we see a lot of big playmaking from Zion and RJ and Trey and all the big freshmen and Cam and Marquis. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, yeah, see, I, 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 love, I have me some love for the freshmen. But my thing is, the one loss coming to Gonzaga, I would say it is slightly disappointing. But the argument I like to say is. I think it's better to lose early, and I think the team that we lost to, it was very, it was, it was a very old, it was a very experienced team, where they're starting two sophomores, two juniors, and a senior, where we're starting four freshmen and a junior who really hasn't played much in the past couple of years, which is Marquise, or Javin, depending on who we start on specific, on specific days. So I don't think we should be disappointed because the freshmen, granted, the last couple shots we probably should have made, but I feel like that game was, uh, it was the game where we can actually make improvements going forward. And I feel like it's better to lose earlier on in the Maui tournament than, say, the ACC tournament or the, or the March Madness because these, this team is so talented. I feel like, to a point, it can get, they can get a little too cocky. It could get to their head, and there's the pressure of having an undefeated season. I feel like every once in a while, a team needs to get like punched in the mouth a little bit to actually understand and learn that even though it's going to be really hard to beat them, they still can be beat if they're, if they're not fully in it mentally and like physically. Now, I do agree that in the grand scheme of things, this loss is probably for the best. But the question is, should we be disappointed? And there's a saying, perception is reality. And after we blow out the number two team in the country, everyone thinks that we're the overwhelming title favorite. People are placing bets on us going undefeated. And we lose to Gonzaga just Oh, well, just the number the three season. team in the nation, Gonzaga. But if we're supposed to be such a dominant team and we not not only do we lose, kids. even if we had won that game by five points, it would have been disappointing. Because I, w- I would say this. I would say this. Let's look at our Elite Eight game from last year, right? Grayson Allen's shot it rolls off. We lose, right? We're just an Elite Eight team. We're not a Final Four team. People are disappointed because we didn't go to the Final Four. But you look at it, if that shot goes in, we, sudden, we suddenly think of the entire season differently. Just one shot goes in. And I don't think anyone looks at a game and thinks about just one shot and says, man, if we had made one shot, I would have, I think but that this, game's a success. Just is, one shot makes a game a success. This is all I think we, our, we, let our guests we, speak. We, we, we miss one shot and that game suddenly doesn't become a success. If, so you're saying if we had tied it up, sent it to overtime and won in overtime, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a... It would still have been disappointing. And here's why. I'm saying that a month from now, this game won't matter. We don't care that we lost the game. I'm saying that right now, as Duke fans, we want to think that we're that much better than everybody else. And now we can't. Even if we only won by five points, we couldn't say that. So it's just disappointing that we're not as good as we thought we were after we beat Kentucky. Are we actually worried about that game? No, it's, like you said, good for us. We punch in the face. But it just means that we have to slow the brakes on these freshmen being these unbelievable players because while they may be awesome, they can't do everything for us. And so we have things to fix. But it's awesome to think that we don't, and that's how we could be after Kentucky, but we can't now that we lost to Gonzaga. I think as far as being disappointed, we should look at how we started the season, how we perceived us at the beginning of the season, because the season has so many ups and downs. And at the beginning of the season, we were no- the number four team, right? Number four team playing against the number two team, and then we win by so much, and we lose to Gonzaga, who was ranked up above us in the preseason poll. We jumped over Gonzaga, and then they just jumped over us because they beat us by two points. That, I'm saying that as far as disappointed goes, we're still ranked higher than we were at the beginning of the season because this season has been successful so far, and it will be successful. But as didn't the you have that on. feeling when we, when we jumped from number four to number one after we beat Kentucky? Like, wow, we are that good. We just jumped Kansas, who beat a number 10 team. But then we lose to number three, Gonzaga. But and it's like, wow, we're not even as good as Gonzaga. Where is Gonzaga even? Who cares about Gonzaga? <laughs> I don't know. Wow, I mean. disrespect. Well, my thing is, I'm not, I wouldn't be worried about Gonzaga come March because at the, end, at the end of the day, we should have won that game, and now the Duke players know we should have won that game. And really going forward, as long as we get 
one shot better, one possession better in a in a forty minute span, we, like Gonzaga will have Gonzaga by the end. Certainly, in two weeks we shouldn't be disappointed, but today I'm disappointed. All right, fine. I'll allow That's that fair. one. 